we are getting ready for game number one here. And so I'm super excited. Hold over to him, see exactly he did, what, he did. Uh, what we have. Okay, so he was able to pop that ultimate excel, which is gonna be massive. So if that Watson generator does go down, they'll be able to pop another one here as Hill tries to get proactive. Bubble is forced out early on. He's not gonna be able to really connect with that massive. Just backs away to his team, poking and prodding and not over committing to anything right now because they have one of the best positions currently in this game. All they have to do is try to force these other teams into one another by pressuring and having presence over towards the top. So what Teen's doing is perfect. I like the way Hill's playing this as well. And there's no reason for your Watson who doesn't have as good an armor as the other two to go and make any type of crazy plays. So his job is just to continue to pop those alt excels, set up fences whenever they go and disappear, and Make sure that you're not getting hit with any defensive bombardments or caustic bolts. That's the key. So everyone really playing this one. Everyone playing it patient. Now we're going to get down to the nitty gritty as this zone's going to come down to the final one. And you're seeing excellent usage of the oh. ordinance to make sure that they cannot just climb up onto them. And so they are, of course, trying to funnel the other teams into each other right now. Bubble coming out early on from third impact, but Jazaz is so low right now. Team Intel have tried it away during all of this. As right now, Intel are down to the two. They back away, and now they are slowly getting choked out here. Tempest goes down. It's all up to Teen trying to use that Q to stay alive, and he will for now at the top two. And it looks like LG will finish this one off, taking game number one. We are getting ready quickly into game number two. It looks like our competitors are ready to speed run the night because we are all super excited. And the ult is going to land, but it's not going to connect quite yet. And that means the rest of the teams are going to push this. Yeah, that's also going to allow Cooler that free rotation now to get on in. LG will be able to finish off NRG. Cooler tried to take advantage of that, but uh, that is not a third party you want to try and push. You don't know how much damage was actually traded. And so Cooler now just playing on the low ground position. That also means that Hill was able to make it into the top three for his team. Now we'll just see if he can take advantage of this if they commit onto a fight. But uh, with this ring, it looks like Cooler are barely in. And so we'll see how much longer Hill can survive for this. Oh boy, he's spotted out now. They know he's seconds. there. Yeah. <laughs> he's going to try and swoop on out, but there we go. We are now down to our top two cooler versus LG as LG are slowly trying to choke them out. There it is. He's got the bigger rolling down. on these guys right Sonya. now. <laughs> <laughs> They've got everything working out for them. They've got the caustic. The EMP was used, but that also means they could just pop spot. out the drone yes. just for the information. That's the spot right there. There you go, Sonya. Love these angles being taken. That's enough damage for me to drop. I don't know what these guys are feeling. I'd be going for it right now. They're gonna wait for this bubble to get away and now they're just gonna send it. It's gonna be a portal capture coming in for rugby. Are they gonna be able to land it? It doesn't look like rugby's able to. Oh, oh yes, he does it. get one. It's a Gibraltar and he put it in the air so they can't come oh, back. Oh, oh. Big brain plays coming in for LG. These guys are nuts. Oh boy, this is gonna be two games in a row for LG. Will it be another 29 pointer? I don't think so, but still taking two back to back dubs. This is massive. We are quickly heading into game number three here. Now position to work with now. They will be a little bit exposed here, but it's about the crossfire being set up basically over by this respawn beacon. This zone is so much fun to play. You have so many different spots and options to go from. And it can really house so many teams. It forces these little fights against these walls. It's exactly what Liquid's doing right now. They're stuck underneath this bridge. You have a team on top of the bridge as well. There goes the knock. It's going to be Yuki from Cooler initially with the Mastiff. He gets finished, though, by Nocturnal. And only a sliver of health live. He goes and gets the armor swap and uses this bubble to try to stay alive as long as possible. Meanwhile, Rice Krispie Treats takes a ton of damage over from the side. Na'Vi getting some knocks over there onto Team Liquid. Sung now the last guy alive for his squad, just trying to stay alive. Doesn't have any Arbor Swaps in the vicinity. Best option would be to try to grab that banner, but he just gets ripped from the side. Meanwhile, Rogue with fun as a duo. Looking pretty solid here. Are they going to get to a team of three, or is this going to be a two stack? Looks like two players making their way over towards where Dropped is, trying to single him out. Sweet now laying down the cover fire. 
Yeah, it's Navi as a full three in this 3v2. They are in stuck in this uh, in this position, so uh, they do know exactly where they are. Max Strafe is going to swing out, try and change the angle for his team. Sweet is able to pick up one. Now it's down to a 2v2 until Navi finally answers back, but now it's a 1v1. Sweet has so much HP to work with. He's going to need out. Nash should be able to finish him off, and there it is. Navi actually take this. Yeah, I miscalled Great that job one. by Rogue, though. <laughs> As, as a duo. We are heading into the second half of the evening tonight. We've got a short one going into game number four. Yes. Their bubble is down though, and the bubble has been used on the other side. Razor in a fight of their own here on the low ground, but they're trying to get involved. Uh, try to get a knock onto the teams on the bridge. How with that massive TSM Ooh. have lost one, but Hal is still mowing them down. It's all up to reps here on that Gibraltar. He might have the armor swap, and so we'll see. There we go. Going for the res now. Five scanned right in front of Mercy only here. We're down to our top three. And DSM can breathe a sigh of relief that they're the ones that were able to win that fight up on the high ground. They've got cover to work with. And so now with the ring pulling away, though, uh, they should have, of course, um, multiple tools to work with to get in on this. It's about what these other two teams do. Razor and uh, whomever is on the other side. How hard do they focus on TSM on the high ground? Oh, well, they should have focused on a long time ago. <laughs> as soon as you see two players from TSM are down, you need to send that. Whether you portal over towards there, if you're Haculo or whatever it is, you're the only player in position that has the abilities to go and do something there. Mercy probably should have been able to scan that, and there they finished that off. Those are two players over towards the side. Both those kills, I think, going on over to Snipe Down. So TSM just racking up some more points here and putting together their best game total. But if you have a duo and you see that TSM is weak, you have to go and try to finish that off. Those were three free kill points and the extra placement point there. And eventually you get away and just had a 2v2 against Liquid as they had to push up from the high ground and all the way across the map. So unfortunate for Razor, they missed it on that opportunity. Now they're gonna have to go big in this 2 vs Crossfire was also set up on the on the right side. Now is Hakulo and now down to a 1v3. And that will be TSM taking game number four. And so we are getting ready to go into game number five, our final two games of the six squad, 16 players remaining. So the rat still surviving. Don't know if he'll be able to make it in from train. It's third impact. Now making the push here, there's a, a caustic slowing them down. They haven't used the revenant portal. They, excuse me, revenant totem. They don't have it. Just go ahead and toss revenant in the nades and fun. hope to connect. <laughs> Don't give him any more tools uh, at this point. He does have the digital uh, threat, though, and it's a little bit difficult for him to see through all that. There is some cover for them to work with. There it is. He gets the knock, and they are just slowly choking out LG. Sonya goes down. Ronnie's next. Now there's just one final player remaining. Zicky nice will be able to finish off, uh, finish them off, and now LG only making it into the top six. Not sure how Rice Krispie Treats is getting down in this type of instance. Meanwhile, NPL starting to infiltrate. You also have a fight going on with Apple Jacks over here. Nice shots right there with the Eve 8 and the Purple Bolt coming in from Ronnie. But you have Lion coming in with the Mastiff instead. He's going to get two finishes right there. And Ronnie goes in, last guy alive in a huge fight. There's at least four teams inside this building. Third Impact comes in with another third party. Yeah, Jazaz will be able to get the armor swap as well. He was the lowest on HP. Should be able to heal that right on up. Three squads left. And I think the rat might have worked getting the top three quite possibly. If we can swap around and see exactly where we are, what teams are remaining. There's one on the low ground. That's clean. Leading out. Now, <laughs> they're just playing with their food at this point. Great job by Third Impact. This is an aggressive game. All the teams probably made a pack to go and charge one another so they could speed this one up and get ready because the 30 minutes of the new season is dropping. But Revenant on Third Impact. Zicky trying to get the 10 bomb. Will he be able to do it? That's going to be tough. And he gets nine instead. Nice job by Third Impact. Big game from them. They were also within the top 10. So maybe we'll see them slide up the leaderboard and make a contestant against LG. It's the final game of the evening here at Series E. As NPL are sitting pretty. They've got the PK, a Volt, Gold Armors, and Ronnie getting closer. Oh, there's a team right on top of them. They have to be careful here. They do see the Watson traps. And so now they are stuck inside this building. And uh, now what is the play? 
Will they try to use the uh, Gibraltar ultimate door. if we could swap on over to see exactly um, what that is like for them? And they don't block the door. This is what happens. The rule is, is to block each door. The fact that no one's over here where Crust is, Crust is making the perfect play, and that's what happens. That's how you get clapped. Yeah, just a free opening for Sentinels to come in. And remember, we were talking about it. Yeah, they were able to recover. Oh, no. So Retsy's back on out, and Crust now wants to get revenge for his brother. We'll be able to finish off Nestle Pure Life. We'll see uh, if they've got a mobile respawn beacon. Um, if we could take a look at the map to see uh, if there is a respawn beacon still available, but not oh, in a position that's recoverable. I was not expecting it to go over towards these houses, and now Pringles is going to be sitting pretty over here. Is it going to be Team Pringles? During Pringles week, winning the last game of Season 6, they're trying pretty hard over here as they stack up in a nerdy spot. Yeah. If it is, it's scripted. If it isn't, then it's just how it worked out. Um, we've got, it looks like, um, yeah, all full squads except for Sentinels who did lose Red Seed during all of that. I don't know if they had a mobile respawn beacon or anything to try and recover. Doesn't look like it so far. It's TSM now making the moves here as uh, they're here on the northern side and they're trying to gatekeep Sentinels. Yeah, they're going to do a pretty good job of it, too, because I love the combination that Hal has. The 2x flatline with the PK here is the perfect mid-range, close-range combination. You see the flying in coming in. Pretty sure that's going to be crushed from Sentinels in the vicinity. He's going to get knocked. That blue skin gave that one away, but Senox is there to follow up damage. It's going to be trade coming in from both sides, but TSM gets the fast res, and they're going to be A-OK. -okay. The other two teams are fighting it out, though. It's going to be LG. Going up against Team Pringles, trying to ruin the script. I don't think they got the net. They got the paperwork, but apparently Hundreds doing whatever he can to live. And now TSM is going to reap the most benefits out of this because they're not even involved in this fight. And they're going to be able to full heal coming in super healthy. Full heal and it's uh, duos on either side here. And so TSM have the numbers to work with as uh, they will be able to finish off LG. Pringles now down into a 2v3. Cassells will pop that Phoenix. But again, it's a 2v3 versus TSM. They've got all the info as the scan comes in. Casellas pushes forward with him. But nope, TSM will be able to finish this one off. But with LG surviving until the top three there, I think they walk away with the victory.